Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March. So the Aries uh, seems like they're feeling a bit paranoid and accusatory, or someone is behaving paranoid and accusatory with the Aries elemental sign. And the Aries is quite fed up with this uh, type of exchange with this person. They perhaps have held their tongue, but they want to, and they're feeling like they are going to explode if they are if they are accused of doing something one more time that they have not done, or they are accused of not doing something they should have done. So the Aries is feeling quite frustrated in the first two weeks of March uh, with the people in their lives. Uh, and feeling fed up, feeling like, uh, yeah, they don't want to take it anymore. They can also be feeling like they need to make a decision about how much further interaction they want to have with this particular person. And thinking perhaps about cutting the person off or disengaging and trying to avoid the person in order to avoid conflict or the potential of blowing up and having a huge argument with this person or these people. It feels like two people, at least two people in particular, but it could be two to four people. It seems more to be a family dynamic, but it can also be a work dynamic. So the Aries is trying to avoid work or family conflicts in the first two weeks of March. It feels like things are coming to a head. This is a issue that has gone on for quite a while. It feels like several months or several years. And it's all coming to a head in the first two weeks of March for the Aries elemental sign, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This can also be uh, pertaining to love life and relationships in that the Aries, again, is feeling fed up and like perhaps they need to uh, take this person out of their life or remove themselves from this person's life. Because it seems like someone has been putting um, more psychological pressure on the Aries than physical pressure, but making psychological demands uh, on the Aries. The Aries may also be feeling some inner conflict in terms of their sexuality uh, because they do have an increased, uh, increased libido, but perhaps the situation that they find themselves in, in terms of their intimate personal life, uh, they, they may be feeling like uh, they need more or they want more. It can be that they want more from this person in terms of interaction and affection uh, more than what they currently have uh, but they're not really speaking up about it they're not motivated to, to, to speak up about it which is a bit odd for this aries fiery energy but in the first two weeks of march they're not motivated it also feels like the aries will be quite distracted with work and quite busy with work and have a lot of scattered energy around their work and professional life in the first two weeks of March. Again, the Aries is feeling a bit paranoid, like someone is keeping some information from them, like someone has kept some information from them. They feel like they don't have the full picture or the big picture and they're missing, they're missing a part of the story. 
So perhaps the Aries has been told a story, but the story seems to have gaps in it, and the Aries feels like they're not getting the whole story or the full story. Now, it doesn't seem like it's detrimental to any particular aspect of the Aries life. It feels more like an annoyance, like they cannot trust this person or the person is not being honest with them. And this seems to bother the Aries. It's just bothering them, especially if it's a partner, because they want to feel like they're, of course, with someone that they can trust and someone whose word they can count on. Again, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the first two weeks of March 2018. And I want to pull three of the thoughts just to clarify some of this energy. Wow. So the Aries is feeling like they are being sweet talked, but it's, it's feeling more like a game because the Aries is aware that someone may not be fully forthcoming or withholding, withholding information from them. Uh, especially if it has to do with work, it, with withholding information that they need. But it's like the Aries has already moved two chess pieces ahead and they already see the end game, but they're letting this, this charade go. They're in a charade and they're letting it go because they know that in the end, they, they will beat this person or beat the process or they have the information that they need. Now, this is in particular if it has to do with work. If it's more uh, in terms of relationship, it feels like a similar story. The Aries knows that they can already beat this person out. This is the devil and also the princess of cups. But they're letting this charade go perhaps to test the person and to see what the person's true intentions are. So there's this tricky energy around Aries in the first two weeks of March of trying to discover information that they feel may be hidden, about already having information that has been hidden from them, but they already have it, and the other person doesn't know that they've already been clued into this, and the Aries going along with this game, or this charade, or this show. But it's more out of uh, being uh, mischievous, like mischievous on the part of the Aries. It also feels like someone is trying to place blame again on the Aries. I think this energy was hanging over Aries uh, over the past couple of weeks. Someone trying to place uh, blame on the Aries. Finally, we have the sun and we have the queen of earth. And this feels to me like the Aries already has this. They already have the information or, or they've, they have achieved this. They have won this. They have the prize. They have the prize, but maybe the other person doesn't know it yet. So the Aries is testing them to see how much they can trust the person or to see if the person is trustworthy. So this reading was for Aries for the first two weeks of March 2018. Thank you for joining me. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Because a lot of people watch the videos, but they don't subscribe. Uh, so it would be nice if you like the video, if you enjoy it, please subscribe. Also, please check out my blog where I'm doing a lot of writing, especially on interpersonal relationships. I'm also doing some coaching. Check out my website. It's in the link below in the, I believe, comments section. And hopefully I'll see you guys back here in two weeks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.